All right, we're going to take a hot lap here in a really cool movie car. This 1967 El Camino was used in the new uh, movie Fast 10, Fast and Furious. This is the one that John Cena drove. Um, there were three different ones. This is the one that's the driver, like the hero car. It still looks like a real car. It's all nice. Um, it's, they did a lot of work to these cars, man. This one's got a 450 horsepower crate motor from Chevrolet. Uh, it's got a nine inch Ford rear end, uh, four link. And this one's a little upgraded. It's got a 700R. I think they came with power glides in them. So it was like, you couldn't even drive the car. So now it's got a 700R. It's got the same shifter that was in the car. Uh, like the one that was used in the movie. It's got a Jake brake, so you can grab that brake handle there. It locks up the rear brake so you can get sideways, obviously on a closed course. But it's got disc brakes, uh, power steering. It's got the expensive beadlock weld wheels. I mean, they put 75 grand into each one of these cars. And uh, it's got a full cage too, roll cage inside of it. But you know, these, these Fast and Furious movie cars, they can bring a lot of money. This one is probably going to go to auction. But uh, we'll see what happens. See if we're going to run it to auction or not. Or, uh, you know, maybe somebody wants to make us an offer. But we'll do our pictures and video of it, you know. It's got a three, we changed the gears to 373s. It was just done by Ramjet Engineering. But what a great car, man. It's really cool. You know, it's got these these uh, basically tractor style seats in them. And they were all three outfitted exactly the same. Well, we'll go up here and uh, take some pictures and more video for you so you can see what we got here. All right, check out this really cool movie car. This is a 1967 El Camino, fully tricked out. Was used in the Fast and Furious, latest one, Fast 10. This was John Cena driving this one. And uh, you see all those stunts and everything. Most of that stuff is C and G. Uh, there were three of these cars. This is the best one and pretty cool finished in satin black a lot of money spent get them ready for the show You know, they have they have big budgets. They can spend whatever they want So about 75 grand in these cars. This has a 450 horsepower Chevy GM crate motor uh, It's got a 700 R4 automatic overdrive transmission. It's got a 9 inch Ford rear end with 373 positive traction It's got four wheel Willwood disc brakes uh, factory power steering Cowl induction hood, aluminum radiator, electric fans. This one's got a full cage in it too. Keep you safe. You don't want to flip one of these things like they do in the movies. Really neat car though overall, you know. Um, some of the stuff was updated on this car so you could drive it. You know, we did it actually. And uh, so it's got better gearing in it. It has a, a gas tank now instead of a fuel cell. Um, it's got an AM, FM, you know, custom auto sound stereo because everybody wants tunes. But it, it is the way it looks in the movie, which is cool. It's got that Jake brake that's still hooked up. You pull that wheel with Jake brake and you locks up the rear wheel so you can get sideways going around the corners, take it out to the track or something. But pretty neat. Pretty neat car. Those seats actually aren't that uncomfortable, surprisingly. You kind of got to be tall. I'm like 5'9 and I got a tippy toe. But they could be moved, unbolted, and moved forward if you're a shorter person. But pretty neat car. Uh, actually, actually, really good shape as far as the body's concerned, and all the chrome and the floors, and it's a good solid car to start with. And it still comes with a copy of the uh, original title. It says um, Fast Ten Productions. So it's a good, uh, might be a good um, car to run through bear tax auction, something like that. We haven't decided what to do, but here it is. Here's the power plant in the '67 El Camino. As I mentioned earlier, it's just a crate motor from Chevrolet. That's a good way to buy them. 450 horsepower. It's got the aluminum GM intake. It's got the aluminum GM head. See the bow tie on there? And, um, you know, power steering, power four-wheel power disc brakes. Just really set up nice. It's got a big sway bar up front. Like I said, it's got that 9-inch Ford rear end, too, with overdrive trans. So you can actually drive it. Go ahead and fire it up for you. Climb in here over these roll bars and stuff. Uh, it's, a, it's a rumbler. It's got a couple gauges there, which is cool. It's got really good oil pressure, as you can tell. It's got no miles on this motor. You know, these things just sit all during production. Even comes with the die cast model. You can buy the die cast of this car. Now, that's cool. That's not just a model that looks like your car, it's a model of this car. I'm 
Exhaust sounds real nice. Those wheels are expensive too. The weld racing, bead locks, pretty cool. Well, if you want to see this one in person, come out and visit us at California Cars. We're at 2158 Union Place, Simi Valley, California. Uh, phone number is 818-591-1313. My name is Rich. Be happy to show you around. Uh, this could be a good investment car for the future, and you can go play around and drive. Drive with it. People, uh, you can take it to car shows and put a little plaque in front of it. It says Fast 10. That'd be pretty neat. Thanks for watching.